Hello, I'm Kara Morrison, and here are your trending stories from Two Works For You in Green Country. For the first time in nearly 40 years, Rama Bible College forced to close its Christmas display early. A fight broke out among teens across campus, outnumbering Rama security who called Broken Arrow Police for help. Pepper spray used on the teens to break up the disturbance. Tonight, church security says the light display will continue and security will be very tight. If you were on the Muskogee Turnpike near Coweta earlier today, you may have seen a wreck involving a semi. Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers say the crash happened near the Coweta exit and one person died. They had to shut down one westbound lane of traffic. That lane has since reopened. Troopers still looking into what caused the crash. And Tulsa police still investigating what sparked a murder-suicide that left several young children without their parents. Detectives say it happened at an apartment in East Tulsa last night. It appears the man shot his wife and then took his own life. You can read more about the case on KJRH.com. We are tracking the potential for a winter storm as we head towards the end of the week. Starting out as rain, maybe rain sleep mix during the day. Better chances for frozen precipitation on Friday will be in northwest Oklahoma. Then the cold air moves in by Saturday morning. We could see a transition to snow here in northeast Oklahoma. So as we look at our extended forecast, 51 by Wednesday, there's that wintry precip threat coming in Friday into Saturday. Chilly on into early next week. Karen? All right, thank you, Mike. Well, be sure to join us for Two Works For You at 5 and 6, and you can find out more information on KGRH.com as well. Another update at 915.